Hey everybody, Carlos again here at Immortals Inc. Podcast. I got Mikey on the mic. On the mic. I don't know why I say that because we're both on mic. So I don't know, but yours is nicer. <laughs> hey, we're going to get you a new mic, all right? Damn. It's all right, I'm grateful. <laughs> Wah. Anyway, today we're going to talk about, which surprised me, and I, lo- I really do like this game personally because I played it a few times and I like the way we did it. Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Games Workshop, one of their classic games has been Warhammer Fantasy. It's been around for 30 years. And what it was is, imagine Mikey, fantasy battles. Imagine all your uh, elves and dwarves and and orcs and like Lord of the Rings. That's basically what you have with fantasy battles. You had all these different uh, factions and all these different races and all these different groups fighting amongst themselves on an Earth-like planet. All right. For what though? For what purpose? No. What do you usually fight about? Land, beliefs, resources, stuff like that, you know? Eye color. I can well know. <laughs> they had that game for 30 years. And as a retailer, when somebody come in and want to play, hey, I want to play, I want to play fantasy battles. It was hard to get into it because it was so, there were so many rules and there were so many miniatures. And in order to actually play competitively or even just casually, you were spending a lot of money. You were spending a couple hundred dollars just to get in on a game you weren't even sure that you wanted to play. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like it could be three, four hundred dollars. That was my getting this money? Well, I mean, some people have the money to spend on hobbies. I mean, I mean, I did, you know, not that I do, but true, true. You just need a hobby plug. That's all you needed back then. Yeah. So I I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't tell somebody that never played this game. Don't know that they need to spend $400 just to get a game. They're not even sure if they like or not. So I think, uh, games workshop also realized that I saw the, there's some other reasons, but I think this is like one of the main reasons, my opinion. Once again, this is my opinion. Fact. Put it on the screen, his opinion. (laughs) Yeah. Cause I don't want to get yelled at, but I think what happened was they realized that also. So what they did is they kind of destroyed the old universe. Uh, there's a good podcaster got turned on to. It's a two plus tough, and he just does a great giving a history of the whole uh, Warhammer world, the previous and the new Warhammer world. Are you talking about for people who like don't know where to start? Uh, yeah, don't know where to start out like me. Yeah, go to it's a podcast two plus tough, and I got turned on to it. And I watched him, and he's pretty good about it. But um, I'll give him a free plug for you know all my there you go listeners. there you go put another podcasters on you see us so uh, what it is is they came out with a new system called Warhammer Age of Sigmar and it, with this you could get into this game for thirty bucks you could buy one little box set of miniatures build them and play the game they gave you the rules for free they're on I think they're still online for free and I even think the uh, uh, the stats for each characters are free they even had the old stats for any of the pre existing miniatures. Now, when this happened, that really made uh, everybody mad who had the old system. So they kind of talked down this system. But when you actually play this system, it, it's good. It's really good. It's easy. It's fast. And it's great to play. Are you a fan? I'm a fan. <laughs> How long have you been playing? I've been playing. I played the old version and this new version. So, I don't know, 20 years or something like that. And wait. Off and on. This is an RPG? No, this is a tabletop miniature tabletop game. Tabletop miniature game. Sorry, I okay. should have probably started with that. No, I mean, I just listen, assume that's what I'm it. here for. Uh, you could play it and, and with 30 bucks, 40 bucks. You'd come in, have somebody show you a little bitty uh, like battles of five guys, and, and you could be happy with that. Is and it then, still like that today? Yeah, you can still do that. Ooh, still kicking. There is a starter box that's I think it's thirty bucks or thirty or forty bucks. It has two armies in it. Has all the rules you need. That's what you you start off with. Do we have it? Yeah, we have it in stock. It's called uh, Alive Me. I can't remember, but I'm sure he'll put it in the description. <laughs> Immortalsink.com maybe. Yeah, Immortalsink.com will have it in there. If you like tactical miniature games, like fantasy, like this is a rich world too. Just like 40k has a rich world. Like I, I equate Star Wars to 40k or 40k to Star Wars the universe, just darker. Same thing with this. This is like Lord of the Rings, but darker, way darker. And everything's always war and everything's unhappy. And there's a whole back history to this. But it is a good game to get into. And the reason I'm bringing this up now is uh, Friday nights, I have Age of Sigmar players showing up here. Whoop. So if you want to go to mortalsinc.com, find out where we're at and come on into the store on Friday night. And if you want to learn about it, come on in. They'll show you free of charge. Free of charge. Free of charge. You can watch a game. They got plenty of armies. Uh, these guys are really cool. Come on in. Give them a try. Loitering accepted. Yeah, you can watch. Don't loiter. Just watch. <laughs> Maybe buy a pop or a water or something. Make me happy. But yeah, you know. Or like a Laffy Taffy. 25 yeah, like cents. A Laffy Taffy. 25 cents. But it is a good game to get into. If you really like it, you can get start that starter box. If you have a father, son, or two friends that just want to get started, the good starter box. Once you really get into it, there's a huge Dominion box set. This has all the current rules in it. It has two complete armies. It has the, uh, uh, they don't call them, yeah, Oryx. Oryx and man, what is that other thing? Does each miniature give you a different advantage? Are they like each miniature? Uh, it, uh, 
whatever they have is what they have. Like, so they have a rule. Like, if you have a miniature with a shield and a sword and armor, there's rules for shield, sword, and armor. You put that thing down. Oh, okay. And so then each, you know, each character goes out and fights and everything like that. You don't have to keep track of them. They're not like this character's this, this character's this. Like D and D, if you had five different characters. You'd have to have all their stats. No, they're all kind of basic quick stats, and they all move as units. Also, the rules kind of set that up for you. Yeah, they do. And then there's special characters like leaders and stuff like that. They have more individual rules, but they're not even that complicated. It's easy to play. But the Dominion box set, that's, uh, what was, was that, 199 Yep, MortalZinc.com. MortalZinc.com, one ninety nine. Yeah, but it's not, uh, you get two complete armies, you get some terrain, you get dice, you get the, the hardcover rule book. That's an investment. Yeah, it's a special, but that's why... It scared me when people came in and wanted to play and didn't know anything about it, and I didn't want to tell them four hundred dollars in, and then maybe you may or not like it. Now, so you should watch this video. Yeah, you should watch watch this video. But yeah, come on in on a Friday night and ask to play, or you can get on our Discord or anywhere else and ask to play this game to meet up with somebody or talk about it before you get into it. Is this an investment? It's like anything else, and once you get into it, if you get into it, it is an investment. You'll find yourself, and it's like a hobby. You can paint. You know, a lot of people like to just paint the miniatures. Like a lot of people like to collect them. Like, I like uh, different armies I have. You don't have to paint them, do you? Or they're no, pre-painted? No, well, it depends. Like, here it's casual, so you could just put them together and play. We don't care. Other places, they might have tournament rules. Like, in actual tournaments for these games, you have to have them painted, and they have to be certain color. You have to have minimum, like, three color. It gets really complicated. That's another reason. They don't come painted sometimes? No, these do not. What? It's, I think they go for the hobby. It's funny because Age of Sigmar wasn't being played here, but now it's starting to get played. But people would buy the miniatures just to paint. A lot of people just liked enjoyed painting the miniatures. That's the hobby part of it too. That's insane. That I mean, that kind of makes it better though if you are into the game because that means you I mean know, that's you kind feel of what, proud of what you're using. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of make fun because my stuff. I was I take pride in painting my stuff. I enjoy painting. Isn't that in the store here? Don't you have something? Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff displayed in the store. Wait, so it's those- not the greatest, but. Aren't those like the Marines or whatever you call them? I got them? the Marines. I got some Lord of the Rings. I do have some Skaven, which are the rats. There's humanoid rats in this game. You can have a whole army of oh, rats. Oh, great. Master Splinter? <laughs> Master Splinter? Okay, imagine Master Splinter went crazy and got really completely evil and just like ate the turtles. That would be the Skaven. Okay, cool. Okay, got it? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> But yeah, I have those too. I've painted those, but I enjoy painting different kinds of miniatures. So, you know, I had a huge undead army, which was the skeletons and the uh, the zombies and everything when I was, this was years ago. And I kind of want, I can't find a reason that I need to build that army again, but I may if I have more time. But uh, come on in, give it a try before you spend money and see if you like it. If you like it, you'll be spending money on it. Don't people come here on Thursdays too for this or no? No, this they come for Thursdays is forty k. Oh, okay. The so future version. This is like the this again. is the fantasy version. This is like bows and arrows and swords and shields. Forty k is super futuristic laser guns and alien creatures and stuff like that. Oh, it's so almost that's... the same races. Like they said, they have orcs there. They have hum- they have humans, orcs, elves, and stuff like that in the past and in the future. Just a different time period. Yeah, just a different. So time that's period. the difference between the two. That's the big difference between the two. Oh. And there's some rules. There's actually quite a bit of your difference because one's like got laser guns and the other one has you know hammers so a lot of people that play one play the other sometimes they just go exclusively like i don't know what i prefer if i had to pick one i would probably end up with 40k because i don't know i like painting the armor better like the tanks and stuff like that to me that's an, an you know fun but uh if you're more into fantasy, this is definitely the game you want to go for, uh, miniatures. And it's always, always supported. They always come up with new stuff, and it's exciting. And once again, it also has the background to it. You have the, They have extensive novels. Remember I did the Black Library? Yeah. They have novels. They tell all this about this, and uh, it's all good. Any questions, Mikey? I mean, no. But my main <laughs> thing was, what even is this? <laughs> oh, I, sorry. You kind of answered that. It's a tabletop miniature game. Come on. You answered that. I yeah. Know. Cool. You, know, you know, it's appreciated. Yeah, but I just wanted to get it out there that we have it. It's fun. You can get into it cheap. And if you don't, if you just want to watch it, come on up on Friday nights. Uh, check our events on Facebook or uh, our website, immortalsinc.com. 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 Link in the description. I know. You could go. buy uh, Dominion in the description. You could buy, you know. I can't anything. remember the starter box. It's just called like Warhammer and it says starter box. That's on, on our box. site too, though. Yeah. We even have, if you come in and ask. We have a limited amount. I wouldn't say it's a limited. We got a fair amount. We have getting started with 40K and we have getting started with uh, Age of Sigmar magazines. If you're brand new to it and you want to see what it's all about, I'll give you one of those magazines. You get a free miniature with it. And if you're out of state, you got to fly down here. Yeah, that's in store. I want you to come in and do it. I'm not going to mail these out because <laughs> that's just, I, I don't know what to say. I'm not being mean about it, but I, I'd prefer to have in store players for these Whoa. miniature games. Oh, come on now. I'm just. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.